People's Coach Chris, and I want to talk to you and really ask you a question about email lists because Instagram went down, everybody talks about it, and every time Instagram goes down, everybody loses their mind and everybody repeats the same thing. Everybody. This is why you need an email list. And I'll be honest, I don't believe in email lists as much as everybody else does. I just don't. Mainly because I personally have never received an email clicked a link and went and bought something from that email how many times have you done that i really want to know please let me know in the comments how often you buy from somebody that sends you emails and they send you those um oh my favorite the card is closing emails like no it's not your card is not closing it's not you're gonna be selling the same thing next week oh or or another one Oh, I only have a few spots left. No, you, you got unlimited spots, man. This is a digital product. You have unlimited quantities. Stop it. Like that, that's what bothers me about the email thing is, I guess from my perspective, I don't like it because it's just another marketing tactic that people use that I, I guess years ago, email was probably useful, but now people use it to really just bullshit people. That's really what it is. It's, it's a lot of bullshit. It's not like... Most of the things that they're sending you or that they're telling you are real and it's truthful. It's not. It's not factual. Because if it were, if it was, they would not have to tell you, oh, the card is closing or uh, I don't have this many spots left or I'm running out. So I don't like it because I think it's another BS sales tactic. I'm not a fan. And, I, and another thing is I think that depending on what you sell, the service you provide, an email list might not be extremely valuable. If you're a local photographer that wants to get more clients in a specific city, having an email list full of people that are around the world will not help you get clients in that specific city. Now, if you're trying to travel and stuff, that's good. But if you're starting out and you're just in the beginning, you should be focused on getting clients locally, right? Isn't that what you need? You want to work with somebody that's down the street or even at least the next city over right? That's within your state. But when you build an email list, you're going to get people, I know I've gotten people from around the world, from different states, different countries, everywhere. So it's like, if I'm selling my skills as a makeup artist, for example, and I only work with people within a hundred mile radius tops, why should I send emails every other day or even every day to people in like a thousand miles away? What's the point? Like what, Tell me why I should do that. Please give me a good reason. So building your audience and building your personal brand is more important than trying to send a ton of emails, right? Because pe this is the thing now. People don't really read emails as much. And that's research will show you that. People don't really read emails as much as they used to, right? That's why now marketers are going over to text message marketing. You probably got one of those too. You probably got one of those annoying ass text messages of somebody telling you, um, oh, hey, you should check out this product. I get them all the time. And it's like, First of all, how do you get my number? Like, Because <laughs> I know I'm not giving my number out so you can text me to sell me something. That's not happening. I'm not doing that. Secondly, we don't have a relationship. So if you text me from an unknown number and it's just like uh, immediately go and click this link, I don't know you. You're not selling that. It's the same. It's not working. So I think the reason why I personally don't like emails is because it's a lot of tactics. It's just a lot of BS tactics. For me, the way I sell, I want to connect with you. I want to share my content first. I want you to look at all my videos, listen to the Entrepreneur Action Plan podcast, follow me on Twitter where I'm always giving out information, um, or check out the business page on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram where I'm always sharing information. That's five different resources of info. Like, I'm giving out content nonstop. I'm educating, sharing information, telling my story, all that stuff consistently. The next step from that is I want to connect with you personally. I'm I don't like you getting on my email list is cool. That's I got one. Yeah, get on there. But I'm not. If you're on my list, you know I'm not trying to sell you all the time. I'm not sending emails every other day. I just I don't do that. I want to take it from the content where I educate you, and then let's connect. I want set up a consultation. Let's get on the phone so we can start building a real relationship, right? Because my job, my goal isn't to sell you. I'm not here to just make a ton of money off of you. Honestly, I like to be selective with who I work with. So when it comes to even my courses, I don't just sell that to anybody. I'm not interested in just making a ton of money by just selling BS to everybody. I'm not a marketer. I actually want to help you, right? That's why the relationship is more important to me.
So you as an entrepreneur have to understand, depending on your industry, depending on your business, email lists are important. If you want to sell digital products, you should probably have an email list, yes, and do all other tactics people tell you about. Do whatever they tell you to do when it comes to email lists. Listen to them. I'm not an expert on emails. I don't care about it. I make money. I help a ton of people without spamming people's inboxes. So if you want to work with me, it's going to be completely different because that's just not the strategy that I'm doing. I, that's not the route I'm going. I think, and let me explain why. I don't want to just sound like this crazy guy like that just hates emails. <laughs> like Sound like the old dude. Get off my porch. This is the biggest reason why. How often, just ask yourself this question. How often do you check your emails? How often, right? Then think about how often you're on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. Just those three apps alone. I guarantee you, you spend more time on those apps than you do in any of your email inboxes. I know you got more than one email because you spam Netflix a couple times. I know, but all of the emails you got, all the emails and all the inboxes you could be in, you don't spend nearly as much time in there as you do on social media. That's why if I'm selling a product, a service, I want to build a brand, sending emails is fine, but I'm more focused on content and valuable information that will hit you where you are. Research shows people get on Instagram over 15 times a day. They spend more than 30 minutes on there. My content needs to be what you're looking at on Instagram. People on Twitter spend over two hours on there every day. You need to be looking at my threads on Facebook. You need to be on my business page watching the video content. Wherever you are, I want my content to hit you there. Again, I'm not one of those people. I'm not going to just spam your email inbox and just keep sending it to you because I know you're not there. Like, what is the open rate on emails? It's like if it's above 10%, then you're killing it. 10%? Really? Why, why, am, I, why am I wasting time if 10% is good? It means one out of every 10 people should open my emails? That's insane. Like, why not just literally take that energy that I'm putting into emails, put it into content and share it out there in the world consistently to build more of an audience. If people want to get in your list, they still can, but sending emails every day, like that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. But content every day is what's even bigger and better, right? Like if you look at somebody like Gary V, I'm sure you know who that is. Content every day, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook, like YouTube, everywhere, nonstop. Emails a couple days, maybe once, twice a week. That's it. That that's more important content over here. Just fill it, stack up the content over the emails. And I, I know why people don't want to do that. I know exactly why. Because when you create content, it takes time, and people don't want to do that. It's easier to pay somebody else to write an email and send that out there. It's easy, and I don't, I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you for doing that. It's just me personally. I like to create content. I love doing videos like this on my podcast. I love it. I personally love it. And now that I know how to co connect that, my love for content, connect that to me generating revenue in my business, that's perfect. It's a perfect marriage. But if you don't want to create content, if you don't want to be on videos, if you don't want to write blogs, if you don't want to have a podcast, by all means, you need to send emails. If you aren't creating content, yes, you got to send emails every day. You have to. You have to. You don't have another choice because how else do you stay connected with your audience? How else do you stay in their headspace, right? You send those emails every day. Eventually, they might start paying attention. They might click a link or something. But I know when I post a video, there are certain people who follow me that look at that video, look every video I post, comment on every video, listen to every podcast, share every episode. I just think that content is better than emails. That's my personal opinion. I want to hear your opinion in the comments. Please let me know. Do you believe that you need to have a massive list and send emails constantly to make money online or to have a business period these days? Or is content more important to you? Please let me know in the comments below. Again, I'm Coach Chris. I will see you next time.